Welcome to the Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher and Karen Hustleby's on the sofa, which means the holidays are here. Santa has arrived. I know, it's hard to believe. Okay, I was there on a Sunday. Clean mall, gorgeous mall, had a great time, went to the movies, did some shopping, spent some money. Supposed to do that, right? You are supposed to do it that. It looked like the mall like it does all year long. Come and back on Monday for lunch. We sprinkled our holiday magic and the ice palace went up. Huh? How did it happen? Yeah, well, those are the elves. They work overnight, so you don't Do they see really? Them. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so the holidays are coming. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, it's, I'm going to sit the back. Holidays. You're going to sit back and let me just. Yeah, tell, tell you me what's, what's coming up. So let's see, we have about a week on November 21st, the um, 11th season of MacArthur on Ice starts. So it's hard to believe we've been doing this for 11 years, but. Um, and God did not mean for us to be on single blades. Yeah, no, well, <laughs> well not you anyway, right? That's right. Yeah. So November 21st through January 18th, we'll have the outdoor ice skating rink, 7,200 square feet of real ice right here in downtown Norfolk. And, you know, always like to remind people we have the kitty rink as well, and we have the um, small skates with double runners for the little toddlers, so it makes it really safe for them. And the parents really like that there's kind of a separate ice rink just for them. And we have a concession stand there, so if you don't want to get on skates and you just want to have some hot chocolate or hot apple cider and watch your kids or your grandkids, you can certainly do that. And it's really cool to ice skate when it's 65 degrees. It, I gotta say it, that. It, it is. is. You know, and it's really funny in this area because we have a huge fluctuation in the weather mm -hmm. in November and December. So we could have a 70 degree day, which we can certainly do ice skating in 70 degree weather. And then we could have, you know, a 40 degree um, day. And one of the really exciting things that I am so happy I can tell you about is we are going to make it snow every day from November 21st through January 18th at the ice rink. At the so we ice have, rink. At the ice rink. So we are going to have a magical snow show. Three this is times. breaking news, this right? This is breaking news. <laughs> three times a night um, for the entire eight weeks. So we're really excited about that. So I think it's a magical experience to be out there and skate anyway. But then to be able to skate sort of under the stars and with the snow falling, I think it's just going to make it a really special experience for people. Sounds romantic. It, I think it will be romantic. And then you're going to have a roller coaster. Well, I was going to say, yeah. so don't forget, right next door to that, we have our really great winter carnival. This is our third or fourth year that we'll have that. So we have the fair wheel which is everybody's favorite ride will be back and the um, big slide and we've got the spinning teacups and I think nine rides for the kids um, so it's really you know it's our big winter extravaganza so there's a lot to do outside and then you come inside and we have the ice palace um, looks like it's carved from ice. It snows inside as well. So we're just covered in snow at Park cool. Center this year um, and that's where you get to have your photo taken with Santa. All right and then Santa's gonna be around for Pets too. So, yep, we have a couple special events that we're doing with Santa. So, we have pet photos with Santa on December 6th and 13th from 6.30 to 8.30 in the evening. I'm actually going to be there with uh, the Friends of Norfolk Animal Care Center with poop bags, just so I'd let you know. Um, and I think you're handing out dog bones yeah, to the so, dogs in like line, that. so yeah, that'll be really nice. Yeah. Yep, we'll have some information there. So, if people are interested in adopting pets or want to get a little bit more information about the shelter, they can certainly do that. We have um, two breakfasts with Santa on December 5th and December 12th. Now, at do California you have to be a little Pizza guy Kitchen. or can anybody have breakfast with Really, it? anybody can have breakfast. Really? Yeah, um, really? it's very popular though, so please call ahead and make your reservations because okay. that sells out every year. And then on November 17th, we have our sign language Santa, and this will be the third year that we've done that. That is really a cool event. It's a very special experience. So we invite um, deaf and hard of hearing kids to come and they can share their wish list with Santa using American Sign Language. We've reached out to all of the schools across Hampton Roads and we have school groups that come in. We have interpreters on site. So if um, children that are not deaf and hard of hearing want to come and visit our Sign Language Santa, we have interpreters that can translate their wish list and vice versa. So that's a really, really special day for us. Now, years ago, you told me on camera that you had, well, you didn't really tell me, you kind of alluded to it that you had the magical Santa Claus there. I but I've actually had people come up and tell me, you know, he looks like the real one. Same well, Santa? people always ask me, like, is, is, your Santa, is the same Santa coming back next year? And I say, you mean the one from the North Pole? <laughs> yes, he's the one that's coming back this year. So, yes, he will be here again this year through December 24th. Um, every child that visits Santa this year gets a cookie plate. So it's a cute little cookie plate that they can use then and put their cookies out on December 24th when they leave cookies and milk out for Santa. Okay, and again, you have to be a kid? You do not have to be a kid. We're just checking. You just have to be a kid at heart. There we go. And That's then me. let us not forget that we have shopping at MacArthur Center. I was going to ask you. I mean, are yes. there stores there? So we have all kinds of really great shopping. We have a um, couple of new things this year. We have Holly's Collectibles and we have Garden Gazebo. Um, Harry and David is back for the holidays. People are very excited about that. Um, Seas Candies, Hickory Farms. So 
all your favorite MacArthur Center stores and then a few special editions for the holiday. I am prepared to announce that my 95-year-old father-in-law is getting Hickory Farms because he loves it. Okay, well, we've, good. We've already bought it. Good, good, good. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you there and hope that he loves his gift. So start right now shopping because when you're done shopping, then you can go play at the mall. You know, How's that? it's really great and there's really you can spend the day. That's what we, we say, shop, dine, and spend the day because you really can. You can ice skate, ride rides, see Santa, see a movie, get a bite to eat, do all your holiday shopping, buy a gift card, valet park your car, whatever you need. We got it covered. You wore me out. Go to the website. <laughs> ShopMacArthur.com slash extravaganza. But go out there and buy. Yes. Okay. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I'm to glad you you're well. ready. Thank you for having me. Now you can take the day off, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When we come back, we got teens that are making a huge difference in their neighborhood and our city. Stay tuned.